next thing I want to take a look at is the difference of two squares. Now that's something we can literally prove physically. But let's go ahead and look at the kind of abstract way of thinking about it. So what we're going to do is first notice that if we have the um, if we have two terms that are added and we're going to multiply them by the same two terms subtracted, uh, you know that it's going to equal or be simplified to the difference of the squares of the two numbers. So if I have these two, it will be simplified to a squared minus b squared. And so let's take a look at this now. So I have these two numbers, let's say our a then is p and our b is 2. And so I know it's going to equal to a squared minus b squared. So this would then equal p squared minus 2 squared, which would then be simplified to p squared minus 4. It's as simple as that. And we can work it out using the FOIL method just to prove that it's actually right. So if I multiply p times p, I get p squared. If I multiply p times negative 2, I get negative 2p. If I multiply p times 2, I get a positive 2p. And if I multiply 2 times negative 2, I get a negative 4. Now, these two terms, they're additive inverses, so they're going to equal 0. And I have p squared minus 4. So we just proved that if we were to FOIL this out, we'd get the same answer or the same simplification that we would get if we were to use our new special, special case method. Let's look at another example. All right, we still have the difference of two squares here. And remember, the rule is the sum of two numbers multiplied by the difference of those same two numbers will give you the first number squared minus the second number squared. It's called the difference of two squares. So let's take another look at it, and here we go. Our first term, A, is 2C, and our second term, B, is 3. And I think we all can agree that is the one of the factors are two numbers uh, being subtracted, or the difference of two numbers. And the other factor is the sum of those same two numbers. So we can use difference of two squares. And so let's take a look at it. Our first term is 2c. According to our special case here, we need to square that first term. Minus our second term, which is 3. And we would also need to square that term. So once we start simplifying, we have 2 squared times c squared, which is 4c squared, minus 3 squared, which is 9. Simplified as far as we can go using the special case. And remember, we've already proven that if we were to FOIL this out, we would get the same answer. Let's look at this other uh, problem here, and this is the last one we'll do. But we have the same issue. The difference of two numbers is being multiplied by the sum of those same two numbers. So we can use our special case. So let's identify our a. Our a is going to be 3 times a. Let's go ahead and identify our b. b is going to equal 2b. Let's see here. Now, we know we can use this. So let's go ahead and put our a in. 3a squared minus our b, which is 2b, 2b squared. Now, I haven't been showing this, but I'm going to go ahead and show it now. Remember, when you have uh, two factors raised to the same power, both of those factors need to be raised to that power. So this will be rewritten as 3 squared times a squared minus 2 squared times b squared which would then give us 9a squared minus 4b squared. And that is now simplified as far as we can go. So we've used the difference of two squares to simplify the multiplication of two binomials. Have a good day.